The main focus of uh, the SICOM group is communications and networking. Uh, obviously being here in uh, Luxembourg and in this uh, space ecosystem, we focus very much on applications on satellite systems. Uh, this is both uh, near term and long term. For the near term, we focus very much on broadband net networks, Internet of Things and also content delivery networks. Um, and the most exciting aspects, which are more the long-term aspects, have to do more with satellite swarms, both for communications but also remote sensing. And more recently also we're looking into communications for deep space, uh, like the lunar village or lunar rovers. The group here at, uh, at SNT um, is one of the largest groups in the world working on satellite communications. Uh, we managed to build this group with um, a very generous support of LSA, but also other funding agencies like FNR and the European Commission. Uh, we managed to get uh, awards like, like the Distinguished Contributions to Satellite Communications by the IEEE Communication Society. And of course, this gave us visibility. And right now we have a lot of visitors, um, researchers coming from North America, China and of course Europe uh, to do research here with us. Uh, at the same time, we have an extended network, professional network, through all the projects that we run here, more than 30 projects uh, in the past uh, 10 years. And of course, we're looking forward to future opportunities. We want to make uh, SICOM a center of excellence in satellite communications uh, in, in the next years to come. SES has been one of the first partners here at SNT. Uh, we have been working together for the 10 past years and I'm, I'm proud to say that we have about 10 alumni that are working for SES right now. Uh, in terms of collaboration, this uh, works in many ways. We interact at the steering committee level with uh, the, the high level executives, but also on a day to day basis with the engineers. Uh, and our approach is to, to create and protect IP and then of course engage with the entire ecosystem in order to bring it into fruition, that is into commercial products. The future challenges of SATCOMs uh, uh, can be seen as near term or short term. In the near term, the most important challenge is how to integrate with the terrestrial networks. There is a lot of um, research going into that uh, because the next generation of uh, 5G networks will encompass all types of convergent networks into one. Uh, going beyond that, we're also looking into the large LEO constellations, which is a very active area at the moment. And we want to essentially engage with all the industry and put together a technology out there which can enable this access in a financially viable way. Uh, last but not least, we are working very actively in the space resources ecosystem, looking into uh, communications and how they can enable uh, the prospecting and the mining and obviously the exploitation of these resources in the next 30 years.